Okay, so we're going to do, today we're going to do lab 13, uh, which is conservation of energy. We know from, from a, for a closed system, the total heat lost by an object is always equal to heat gained by an object. So what is the equation for heat? We know heat is the denoted by letter capital Q, which is mass times C is specific heat times delta T. Delta T, delta is change in temperature. So if I rewrite this equation, it will be mass times specific heat times T2 minus T1, final temperature minus initial temperature. So if I use this same equation for heat lost, and heat lost, since it's losing, it's negative. The negative heat lost is equal to positive heat gain. So if I rewrite in place of heat lost, if I put Q is equal to negative M times C times delta T, which is T2 minus T1 is equal to, now this is will be mass times specific heat times T2 minus T1. And let's see. So if I, in this experiment we're going to demonstrate uh, for a, using a closed system. We're going to use and demonstrate this here, how the heat is conserved. So if I take a hot object and a cooler object, so in this experiment we're going to take hot water as a hot object and cold water as a cooler object. So what we're going to do, we're going to mix hot water into cold water and we're going to see what is the final temperature. So if I take, this will be the experiment like this, if I take a hot, hot water, if I take a, a styrofoam cup with hot water, we are going to measure the mass of the styrofoam cup, mt, and then I am going to fill with hot water, and then we are then we're going to remass it, so I know the, how much is the hot water here. So this is a hot object, and, what, and then what I am going to do the same thing with cold object, I take the same one more styrofoam cup, I'm going to weight empty mass, then I'm going to fill with cold water. And uh, how, how, how can I know it's hot or cold? I'm going to use a thermometer and we measure the temperature using the thermometer. Same thing, we're going to measure the temperature of the cold water and we're going to measure. So we know the initial temperature of the hot water, we know the initial mass of the hot water, and then we'll, we'll know the initial temperature of the cold water and initial temperature of the uh, mass of the cold water. So how can I know the mass of the cold water and hot water? Whatever map, when, when I add water to this system, to the uh, container, styrofoam container, if I remove the empty mass of the styrofoam cup, I get the mass of the cold water, hot water. Same thing I'm going to do for the cold water. So you have, now you know what is the temperature of the hot water. You will know the temp mass of the hot water. You will know the temperature of the cold water and you also will know the temperature of the, uh, the mass of the cold water. Now I'm going to take mix both. So I'm going to add the hot water into the cold water. So I'll take the cold water container and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix cold water is already there in this and I'm going to add the hot water in, in this cold water container and I'm going to stir it and I'm going to close it with uh, any kind of uh, um, insulated material so that the heat is not lost. And I'm using, specifically I'm using styrofoam cup because it keeps the heat, it uh, minimizes the heat lost or heat gain. So, that we're going to, so that's how we're going to make it as a closed system. So now you have a, in this you have a hot water and the cold water. So now you have a mixture of both. And now what we're going to do is, you're going to measure the temperature, T final temperature of the hot water, um, the, of the mixture. So you know the total mass here. So the total mass is the mass of the hot water plus mass of the cold water. And this will be the final temperature. So how can you know, calculate the final temperature? We're going to use this equation for that. So here, this is the equation. So who is losing the heat? Hot water is losing the heat. And who is gaining the heat? Cold water is gaining the heat. That's why we got put nine negative sign. And this negative sign is very important to carry down all the way when you're doing the calculations. So here, who is the hot water? Is this? So you should know the mass of the hot water. Then you need to know the specific heat of the hot water. And according to specific heat of water and specific heat of the hot water and specific heat of the cold water is always one 
gram per degree Celsius. Specific heat for both is one. So we take the hot water, specific heat of the cold hot water. Then now the T uh, T2 is the final temperature, which is this T2, which is equal to we don't know of the mixture. That's what we're going to calculate. But I, I know the temperature of the initial temperature of the hot water. T1 H, I put it as T1H, which is the initial temperature of the hot water. Now, do the same thing here. This, is, this will be positive because cold water is gaining the heat. So this will be the mass of the cold water, specific heat of the cold water, and T final, I don't know, that's what I'm going to calculate. This is the T final, which I'm going to calculate. So this is also T final, the mixture. And I know that initial temperature of the cold water, which is T1. So now once you plug in all these numbers, and then you can calculate using the simple algebra, you can calculate um, distribution method, you can calculate the TF in this case. And once you got the TF, you can replug those TF value here, and you can calculate the heat lost by the hot object, and you can do the same thing here, you plug, you already know the mass of the cold water, you know the mass and the specific heat of the cold water, which is 1. And you know the T final after you calculated this. You got the T final, you plug in back in this equation. And then and minus T initial temperature of the cold water. And this part will be the heat gained by the cold water. So you will end up getting the same value. One will be negative, one will be positive. Okay. Heat lost by the hot water is equal to heat gained by the cold water. So, this experiment we're going to use. So, what final temperature you get by doing the calculations? You will observe the same temperature after I mix these two systems. So, if I I have here, I have the empty mass of the styrofoam cup. I'm going to measure the mass of this. I get the initial mass of this. Then I'm going to take the hot water and I'm going to measure the. Certain, I'm going to remass this. So, I got the mass of the container with the hot water. Now how can I get back my mass of the water? You can subtract the empty mass of this from the total mass of this. So I get the mass of the hot water. And I'm going to do the same thing for the cold water. And now I need to measure the temperature of the hot water. So I'm going to use a thermometer and let it stand and measure the temperature. So I got the temperature of the hot water. Then I'm going to do the same thing with, so since this is not an open system, so if I cover this with a styrofoam, or any other insulated material. So this becomes a cold system. Because if I keep it open, the heat is losing. So I do heat, close it. Now I do the same thing for the cold water. I take the empty mass. You're going to measure the mass. Then you're going to take the cold water, certain amount of cold water. And I'm going to measure the temperature of the cold water. And once I got the temperature of the cold water, now I have all these four variables. I'll get the mass of the hot water with the temperature of the hot water. I got the mass of the cold water with the mass of the cold water, initial masses and initial temperatures. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the hot water and I'm going to, in a closed system, I'm going to add this hot water. So you see this is hot, I'm going to add into the cold water. So I'm going to add and now I'm going to keep, make it an insulated a closed system by covering with an insulated material and I'm going to stir it in the mixture and let it stand and I'm going to see my final temperature after a couple of minutes later I'm going to see my final temperature and this final temperature should be same as whatever final temperature you're going to get there preferably if this is total closed system in most of the cases you should end up getting the same numbers and this is what so this is what, so this, so from this equation, you, you, from this uh, experiment, you can prove that the total heat lost by the hot water, it will be equal to total heat gained by the cold water. And uh, so heat will be losing from the hot and cold is gaining. At one point, both the temperatures will be equal. Till that time, the temperature will be keep on transferring. So heat always transfers from a hotter object to a cooler object, not from cold to hot. So this is what the experiment is about. And uh, we will give you all the calculations. You just have to do the calculations and you submit, scan your copies and submit and you'll be getting the grades accordingly. Thank you.